G'day. Today we're doing a transmission service on a Mitsubishi Pajero uh, 2016 model. And on the ID plate it's got a V5 AWF transmission Mitsubishi. It's very similar if not identical to the uh, Toyota, uh, the A750 E or F transmission. We'll just have a quick look for any oil leaks. To get the pan off, um, we need to actually remove this cross member here just to gain access to those rear bolts. So we're just going to do that and drain the oil out of this plug here. A little hint, because uh, one of the nuts go underneath and the other one comes, you got to undo it from the top because the nuts welded in the cross member. What you can do, especially this one because the fuel tank's in the way, um, just take the outside bolts off and it'll give you a little bit more room. And also what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get my hacksaw and just make a little slot in there for a screwdriver so it's just easier and quicker to, to do up from underneath and then I can just tighten it. That's what I'm talking about, just a little slot in there. Make sure you clean the thread as well, just so it goes in a little bit easier and test it as well. Um, I'll be able to do that one up a lot quicker and then just tighten it up with the spanner. Now while I've got all that off, I'm going to just whiz off these two bolts uh, off this rubber mount. It'll just make it a lot easier to access that pan. Now we'll just let that oil drain out before we take the pan off. I've just thoroughly blown out around that pan rail, make sure it's nice and clean before we take the pan off. With these transmission you can either fill it through here, there'll be like a little tube in there, or if you have a sneak peek up here, there's a plug on the side there, it's on the driver's side, on the right hand side of the transmission, um, just on that little extension housing where the transfer case is bolted onto. So you can fill it through there, you still need to take this plug out and that'll give you the, the fluid level. We'll show you that later in the video. I'm just going to take the filter off. Now there's that little tube that I was talking about, that shows you the, the oil level and you can see the little magnets there 
there should be four little magnets. You can see that they are covered with fine metal so it's important to actually remove the pan not just to uh, drain the oil out of it and change the oil. Um, it's important to clean those magnets otherwise that fine metal will become attracted to the solenoids. Like I said before just make sure the o-rings there just have a little peek inside make sure there's no little bits of plastic or whatever in there and then we just basically line that up and just wiggle it in until you feel that seal go into its place. You can just do a quick check of these terminals, just give them a little bit of a wiggle just so they sit in a new spot or you can actually press the little clips, pull them out and in a couple of times and that's basically it. I'm just going to clean those magnets in the pan and we can put that back on. Now you can see I'm going to put these magnets, um, probably even leave them up like that, um, that way more surface area will grab all that rubbish that's floating around in there. If they do fall down, it'll still be up on that ridge so that bottom side can work as well. And because of that snorkel on the uh, filter, um, there is a fair bit of room in there so you can actually do that with the magnets. They may fall down, but uh, at least they'll be on that ridge instead of just flat, flat on the bottom there. The bottom side of the magnet won't be working. And of course, you can see the the little um, height of the oil level height. Um, you can put because they're such a big pan. You can put a couple of liters of oil in there, but it's pretty easy to fill through that little side plug I showed you earlier. pan gaskets on it's always a good idea to have the pan rail completely dry and I'm just going to put all these bolts in just loose before I tighten it up that way it won't I won't have a misalignment issue Okay, I've got all the bolts in, you can see the pan's still loose, and now I can just tighten them up either side. Okay, I marked the rear side of this um, rubber mount just so I don't have to muck around working out which way it went.
And that one there, remember, we've got the little slot in there, so I can just put the screwdriver in and put it in easier. Okay. It's always wise to just hand tighten everything, check it by hand. Now we can go on to the filling. Okay, that filler plug is 15 sixteenths or 24 mil. We'll just take that off. And we're going to just remove this one, that's a 5 mil Allen key. Okay, now we can start filling it. We'll fill it up there until it just starts to come out of here. And then I'll put the plug back in here and start the vehicle. I'll probably put a half a litre in extra. And that'll just prime the oil through, uh, through the filter or whatever's drained out of the torque converter. And then we can keep the motor running um, to check the oil level. Now I'm just looking at the uh, data sheet for the transmission fluid and you can see this one actually handles the Diaqueen PA Mitsubishi fluid which uh, apparently the Pajeros take. So the synthetic LV in the uh, Tritec will handle that. Put the hose in there. And we'll just slowly pump that in, just till it starts coming out of that. And then I'll put a uh, plug in, and we can start it up. We'll just put that plug back in. Selected all the gears, handbrake on hard. Just select through the gears. back in the park and we can hop down and just check that fluid level. There we go, it's just dribbling out now, the motor's running. Mitsubishi Bulletin, you can see that the temperature of the fluid when you check it should be between 39 and 46 degrees, so we're on about 30 degrees, so we'll just let it idle until it gets up to about 40 degrees and then check the oil level again. Day here, so it's taken a while to get up to 40 degrees, so I'm just gonna take it for a run. Um, I've overfilled it slightly, so I'm expecting to let a little bit out um, 
as it warms up the oil will expand so it was just trickling out at about 25 degrees with the motor running so I'll just go for a bit of a run and we'll recheck it okay back from test run and we're on 39 degrees which is pretty much perfect I'll just take that plug out now probably I've filled it a little bit too much but there you go so we'll just let it just start sort of trickling out and probably about there somewhere it's just starting to trickle there we go out of door service on a V5 AWF for an A750 automatic transmission. Thank you for watching.